Is this the best the pathetic Brotherhood of Light can send? <laughs> You have seen it, Marie. The mirror has shown you Gabriel's fate. You must protect the child from his father. Trevor and his lineage will be the only ones capable of facing him in the future. Your son's survival is the only hope for humanity. We will come for him at nightfall. You stand aside. What sorcery is this? No, no, show me 
more, damn it! That's not enough. I need to see more. That's the battle cross my father carried. Is it still in the castle? I am here to avenge the death of my parents. I mean to end the evil that rules here. Will you stand in my way? I need to recover that weapon. Will you help me find it? All right, we're... Damn it!
was it that helped me escape? Do you know him? Damn it! I'm tired of your silence! Show him to me! Here! Now! Stupid creature! All right, all right. At least, tell me where I must go. Zobek, my master, desires this weapon. Your father was not worthy of carrying it, and neither are you! Hide behind a woman. You are as cowardly as your father was! Let's see how you fight without your little friend. Let's see how you fight without this. Come any closer. You helped me once before, and now you do so again. Why? Who are you? That isn't important right now. That weapon you are carrying, how did you come upon it? There is a presence in the castle that guides me. It took me to it. It belonged to my father. I will use it to avenge his death, and that of my mother. How does your mother die? My father came to this castle many years ago when I was but a child. He came to destroy the evil that lives here. He never returned. He must have greatly angered the Dark Lord, for soon after, Dracula attacked the Brotherhood stronghold with his legions. None survived. My mother was killed, trying to keep me safe. I see. So now you plan to face the Prince of Darkness alone? Your father was one of the greatest Brotherhood warriors that ever lived, yet he could not defeat Dracula. What makes you think that you can? Did you know my father? Answer me. Did you? No, my father. No. This I promise. You shall not stand alone against him.
Simon, come Simon. Come closer Simon, don't be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, warrior. We've been waiting for you. You have traveled so far, you must be weary. Come, stay with us. You will find our hospitality most pleasant. <laughs> Come on, Simon, get closer. Join us. Stay there, my sweet. Do you like what you see? I have created this for you. I want you to feel this. Let me show you how good you can feel. Don't you like how I kiss Simon? <laughs> Fight well. Worthy of the name Belmont. I am Simon Belmont. I have come to avenge the death of my parents. I have come to destroy you. <laughs> Tell me how do you plan to do this, Simon Belmont? With that, perhaps. 
That relic you carry holds no power over me, young Belmont. Know this, your father died by my hand. Will you suffer the same fate? You cannot kill me. You will die in vain, just as your father did. We'll see about that now, won't we? Good of you to join us, Alucard. been here before. You were here too. Who am I? This to be my fate? Not this. Please, not this. It wasn't supposed to be like this! Tell me where he is. It's not possible. 
possible. Is it him? What is he doing here? not stand alone against him. I knew it couldn't be that easy. Much better. <laughs> this way I'll be able to deliver your remains to the toy maker. So he can have 
have some fun. <laughs> Thanks to you, I am now more powerful than ever! <laughs> to join us. Hope that you would understand why I must destroy the brother. Join me in remaking this one. Join you? Look at me. You've made me a monster. Father, you made me like you. A creature that thirsts for blood, filled with hatred. You should have let me die that night. No matter. It all ends now. Let him go. This is between me and you. He is a Belmont. I will not suffer that bloodline to live any longer. <laughs> It was a 
gift from my father. It's all I have of him. Your father gave you that without knowing its true power. As long as you wear it, you will not be able to decide or act entirely for yourself. Your actions will be guided, manipulated. Do you think you are here entirely of your own free will? Let it go. It doesn't belong to you. Just as it did not belong to your father. Will you tell me now who you are? It's your father's, Simon. Please, leave it. It's not a toy. Why has the Brotherhood waited until now to tell you this? I don't know. I suspect they believed he would not return. It must be me, Cypher. It can be no other. You understand that, don't you? For the honor of my own family, I cannot live with this shame. I must protect you and Simon from this. I must avenge my mother. I have carried this small piece of mirror since I was a boy. It is said it comes from a magical mirror, capable of showing your past and true fate. Though it has never shown me anything, perhaps one day, my son, it will reveal something of yours. Keep it and always carry it with you, Simon. Will you do that for me? I have not returned by dawn. Take the boy and leave this place far behind. Take to the forest. Do not look for me. Come back to us, my love. Yeah, 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 yeah
cannot pass yet, Trevor. to guide or direct me. Move aside! As you wish. However, your fate has already been sealed and there is nothing you can do to change it. I am sorry to say that you will not achieve your objective and your wife and your son will suffer the consequences of your failure. <laughs>
for your vengeance has come. <laughs> Come out and face me. I was planning to pay a visit on the Brotherhood. It was unnecessary to send someone special to meet me. I say that because I see you hold one of Gandalfi's weapons in your hand. In their desperation, it seems the Brotherhood have deceived you. Yet I would know the name of the warrior who wields such a weapon. Someone for whom your very existence brings shame upon me and my family, devil. You are an abomination upon this earth. I know who and what you are, and this day I claim vengeance for my mother's murder. <laughs> so it's personal, then. That makes things far more interesting. Revenge is a powerful emotion, my friend. It has been my closest companion for many years. I have killed so many. I have sent them all to a better life. Surely you can see that. I have no interest in getting to know my victims. I don't know your mother, boy. But you did know her. You knew her very well. I'll tell you her name, right before I cut it into your heart!
never was! You will never defeat me! And everything. I have fought against my fate, even though it was in vain. But you, you accepted your fate, and you were betrayed at every turn, yet you still followed the path set out for you, even when that betrayal included your own wife. Fate is cruel. But in the end, I pity you, father. Father! What is this? Marie. Damn you! Why? No! No! Live! Live! My son. 